Hello Samadhi community. My name is Sushma and I am here with Dharma Talk. So the very first uh, lecture was about what is yoga and then the next one I explained about why mythology, why is mythology used and today I am going to tell you a story, a yoga story um, and uh, I, and I'm using a story because a story is a great way uh, to hold the human experience. Over generations, um, stories are passed down. You want the next generation or your kids or your friends to understand these concepts or um, there's a message in the story and um, it's, it's just an amazing way to pass uh, concepts down, make it accessible uh, for everyone to understand so uh, so think about it like a bottle of water once you drink the water you can throw the bottle away so once you understand the concept or once you understand the message toss the story away all right so the very first story that I want to talk about is the story of creation so every every culture tries to understand itself and they come up with these stories that explain where they came from and in yoga the story of creation is to understand this concept of duality so if you think about uh, an acorn you can hold an acorn in your in your hands in your in the palm of your hands but it also has the potential to become a huge oak tree right so there's this unmanifested energy that the acorn holds which and once you put it in the ground it will go through different phases before it becomes this huge oak tree so the story goes that long time back even before where there was time when there was this concept of space um, these seeds just lay dormant at the bottom of an ocean and this ocean is nothingness this ocean of nothingness these seeds lay dormant and one day the seeds just exploded and everything that we know was created so think about it uh, think about that unmanifested energy in the seeds as brahman pure consciousness and everything that was manifested as Prakriti. So, so I'm sorry, not Brahman, Purusha. Purusha is the unmanifested energy, the consciousness that we hold within us. And Prakriti is everything that was manifested. All right. So as Prakriti kept manifesting, it started moving away from, um, away from Brahman. So it forgot that it came from that. So it started thinking of itself as something separate from the uh, from the Purusha. Hmm. So I hope that made sense. Um, and just like us, we forgot that we are pure consciousness. We start identifying ourselves with this body or the thoughts we think or how the emotions we have or the job we hold. And we have forgotten that we come from this pure consciousness, this Purusha, and that is the theory of, uh, or the, the concept of duality, that everything that we know comes from this pure consciousness and everything that is manifested is Prakriti. So there is Purusha and Prakriti. Prakriti has forgotten that it comes from Purusha and she thinks that it is separate from this pure consciousness. Um, so, so think about it um, and, and the lives we live also kind of, uh, so let me say, say it like this, um, whatever experiences we have in our lives, we see the world as we are, we create our own experiences. But this story is a great reminder that we are all connected. So uh, if you if you're ever in a traffic jam, just look around and you will see people in the same situation, stuck in a traffic jam, but someone might be, you know, listening to music, popping their head. Someone might be 
you know, getting really upset and honking their horn, cursing at people. And someone might be like you, just looking around. So, so it's the same situation, but we all have different, we experience it differently. We are creating the experiences. Um, there's nothing out there for the yogi. You create your own experiences. So next time you see someone getting upset or and or this judgment, not judgment or this resistance comes up where you go, oh, I am not like that. So just pause there, remind yourself of the story that we all have this purusha, this pure consciousness with us, within us and everything else is prakriti. And also there was this very nice, um, not a meditation, but a practice that you can do. Like you can look at a person and go just like me they want peace in their life. Just like me, they want happiness. Just like me, they want to be loved. There are so many things that no matter who it is, we can find that connection. And just like me, I wish they handled this um, situation differently because we have all been there where something pushed us so much that we did not handle the situation mindfully. So just a reminder, that we are all whole, we are all complete, and we are all perfect. We are pure consciousness. All right, thank you. Um, namaste.